Hey, welcome to the Dankest Dungeon. Today we're going to be choosing our commanders from Wilds of Eldred again. Let's go ahead and see what everyone put together. Hey, how's it going? It's Jason, and so last time in Wilds of Eldraine, I played Rowan, Scion of War, and I kind of got hated out of the table because she's such a threat. But today, I'm playing Will, Scion of Peace, so things should go a lot smoother because no one's going to be scared of me, the peaceful guy. Hey everybody, it's Corbin. Uh, today we are playing Greta, Sweet Tooth Scourge, uh, Golgari, kind of Storm, kind of not. Uh, we'll say it's an adaptive combo deck. Yeah, there it is. Uh, I wanted to play Auras, but that was taken from me. So much like Greta, I'm gonna make it everybody else's problem. Howdy guys, it's Nate. Today I'm playing Bernard, Ginger Sculptor. And my plan is to be every fat kid's nightmare when the food comes to life. We'll see if my ginger persons can eat my opponents away. Hi, I'm Brendan, and today I'm playing Ariette, the Charmed Apple. And I'm hoping for a semi-goat effect, just to play a bunch of enchantments on my opponent's things. Hope they kind of duke it out while I just do like light life gain shenanigans or aristocrat. Okay, everyone, let's roll off. I got a 10. 10. Not a 10. Nine. Hello, sir. All right. We're back at it again. You and me. Yep. Five. Six. Jason over here, king of games. King of games. <laughs> king of dice rolls. I'm gonna mold again. Yeah, this is good enough. Mine's good. <laughs> I. I'm gonna keep it. Okay, so he's, he's not doing anything. <laughs> yeah. This is much better, y'all. Okay. Wow, this is better. You all ready? Yes. <laughs> Jason's like, I've won the roll off and I've won the game. <laughs> yeah, let's, no, let's, just, go. let's just go to game two. I'm gonna play an island. Oh no, here comes that soul ring. I'm gonna play soul ring. Yep. Here comes the signet or uh, Here drop. comes arcane signet. Oh my god. Here comes Osper Sentinel. Oh, Jesus oh, oh, Christ. I'll pass the turn. Oh, okay. Uh, delighted halfling, get wrecked. And uh, <laughs> that's wrong. Okay, cool. Uh, ow. Uh, noble Hierarch. Go yeah. ahead. Uh oh. Heart of the cards. Godless Shrine and Path. I'm gonna untap and draw. Tap soul ring for two to play a fellow Warstone. I will then pay three for my commander. Mm. Hit Brendan for one. I'll pass. Uh, we're gonna play a Sensei's Dividing Top, paying the one for Asper Simo, cause screw that bro. And then I'm gonna play a Gilgari Rot Farm. I'll pass turn. Play an island for turn, pay three. Sam, loyal attendant. Beginning of combat on my turn, I make a food. Foods cost one less to activate. He partners with Frodo. I use this as a shuffle, cause I'm getting a bad feeling. Superstition. Yeah, you got that. Bad <laughs> feeling sitting next to me. That's Mate. just Brendan's hand under oh, it. Hell yeah. I was gonna say. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go to combat, make a food token, pass the turn. Discarded mantle of Move to discard. Yeah. Bad pass feeling. Turn. I'm gonna untap and draw. Uh, combat. Swing on Brendan for three. Hell yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna play a Sejiri Refuge for turn. I'll gain one life. I'm just gonna pay four for Elspeth, Sun's Nemesis. Comes in with five loyalty. Relevant ones are minus three gain, five life. They are all minuses. She's not gonna do anything. I will pass. Forest for the turn. Tap this for green to cast legendary spells and they can't be countered if I use that mana. I will cast my commander. She enters, I get a food token cause we out here with them sweets. Munchies. How do you make a fried bologna sandwich? You don't. There it is. It looks like a toaster, but that's what it is. Boom. <laughs> the little toaster who could. Oh wait, no, foods foods don't draw cards, they gain life. Yell pass. Pay green. Bop. Pay green. Goose. Make a food token when the goose enters. Go to combat. Make a food token from Sam. Pass. Yeah. Alrighty. And we're gonna go straight into discard. <laughs> Why did you keep your hand? Don't be bad, boys and girls. You're not wrong. What can I do with this? Nothing past the Yeah, it's kind of. <laughs> I'm gonna start it off with an enlightened tutor. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna put rustic study on top. Neato. I'm gonna pay two for an Azoria signet. Okay, we're gonna swing um, two at Brenda. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm Who just gonna, knew? Who I'm, just gonna, I'm just gonna pass. What an embarrassing game. 
I'm gonna spin tops. Somebody's gotta do something. Don't worry, guys. I'll bring it home for all y'all. Except I'm not, because I just saw my top three. Yikes. I'm gonna play a comedy of whispered hopes. If one or more plus one plus one counters we put on a permanent you control, that many plus one is put on that permanent instead. And then I can tap him for X man of any one color where X is his power. I'm gonna activate Greta by paying a green and sacking this baloney sandwich. I'm gonna put a plus one plus one counter on target creature. She's gonna target herself. Kami will put two counters on her instead. So she is now a five five. Mm. Uh, we gonna rock that combat. Hey Elspeth. I'll chunk. Yeah, you will. All right, cool. I'm gonna play my land for turn, which is gonna be Kalani territory. Yeah, we're good. Four. Let's play Bernard, Ginger Sculptor. Go to combat and make a food token from Sam. I'm gonna swing at Elspeth for one. Okay, in the air? Yeah. Exalted trigger. Pass. Oh, thank God. We're gonna play Marsh Flats. We're gonna pop that bad boy. We're just gonna play Planes. Talisman of Hierarchy, pass. I know. Okay, I'm gonna tap, draw Rhystic Study. We're gonna minus three Elspeth. She went down to one, I'll gain five life. We'll go to combat. Brendan, take two. I have effects at the end of combat. I'm gonna cast Deadly Raw, like targeting Will. Yeah. Okay, cool. Just gonna cast Rhystic Study and pass. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. Two mana, paying the one. I'm gonna abrupt the K the Rhystic Study. Okay. <laughs> One green, uh, mini party. Search my library for a basic land card, reveal it, put it in my hand, then create a food token. Yeah, I'll probably just get this swamp. So play my land for turn. I'll sack the food token to Greta. I will put two plus one plus one counters on Kami of Whispered Hopes. I'll pass. Untap, upkeep, draw. I'm gonna thirst for knowledge. I'm gonna draw three and then discard two unless I discard an artifact. Discard an Elemental Bond and a Samwise Gangi. I'm gonna play a Plains, three, having to have the goose eat a food. Play an Ashnod's Altar. Combat, Jason, I'm gonna smack you for two. Uh, yes. Land, mean a swamp. We're gonna pay four. We're gonna go ahead and drop a Smothering Tithe and Pass turns. I'm gonna draw. I could pay, honestly, but it would be nice to have you in the game, so I'm not going to. Fabulous. I'm gonna pay five, get Will back out. That's it. Go ahead. End of your turn. I'm going to tap this swamp uh, for a black mana, and I'm going to use it for Sensei's Divining Top. All right, I'm going to draw. Do you pay two? Uh, yeah, I don't care. You can Ooh. have your, your thing. Five mana. Mazarek Crawl Death Priest. He's a 2-2 mm. flyer. Whenever a player sacrifices another permanent, put a plus one, plus one counter on each creature I control. <laughs> In response <laughs> to cast, I'm going to just eat all three of my dorks so I can turn them into a gingerbread bird, a gingerbread human druid, and a gingerbread bird. Neat. They are now 1-1 one, one food golems. So anywho, uh, back to what I was doing. I'll play a gilded goose of my own. Loney sandwich is back. Take so five commander. Things. Yeah, okay. I will pay two to sacrifice a food token to draw a card and I lose one life. Trigger Mesurek. So you're actually gonna take seven commander. <clears throat> okay. I'm gonna draw this card. That's not the card. Oops. The, the one you meant to draw the top. Yeah. It's the next one. Okay, <laughs> guess I'm flopping top. You pay two? Nah. I will play my land for turn. I can't be like you plebs in this <laughs> land drops. I'm to upkeep, draw, go for it, bud. Thank you, Yikes. sir. I'll play a Rejuvenating Springs. Four, I'm gonna play a Wing Splicer. My golems fly, and when he enters, I make a golem. Combat, I'm gonna make food when I go to combat. Jason, take three in the air. Or four in the air, Exalted Trigger. Okay. I'm gonna tap the Noble Hierarch for a white, and I'm gonna Swords Sackboy. Uh, I gain how much life? Equal to power. Neat. I'll pass. We'll play my land for turn. White and black, Lotho Corrupt Sheriff. Neat. Whenever a player uh, casts their second spell each turn, I lose one life and create a treasure token. Who knew I needed more? And I'm gonna play my commander. Losing a life, creating a treasure token. Pay two, Core Spell Dancer. We're just gonna turn him into a beat stick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, four or five indestructible beat stick. <laughs> yep. He can't swing on me with it, so you know. What do you yeah. Know? Yeah, that's fair, I guess. So I can draw a card. I will go ahead and pass my turn. At the beginning of my end step, each opponent loses X life, and I gain X life for the numbers or auras that I control, which is just one. If you appreciate the content that we're creating and you'd like to support us here at the dungeon, the number one way to do so is to sign up to become a member over on our Patreon page. 
Some of the patron benefits include access to our full deck lists, voting privileges for polls held over on our Patreon, and shoutouts at the end of every video to let everyone know how awesome you are. If money's tight and becoming a patron isn't the best option for you right now, we totally get it. Simply liking our videos or subscribing to the channel if you haven't already and commenting down below all help as well and are totally free. Thank you all for watching and enjoy the game. Untap, draw. Do you pay two? I'm not gonna pay two. I'm gonna play an Obscura storefront for a turn. When there's the battlefield, I sacrifice it. When I do, I can search for an island, swamp, or plains, put it on the battlefield tapped, and I gain one life. Let's grab a plains. I'm gonna make things cost one less this turn because I gained a life. I'm gonna minus one Elspeth to pump him until the turn. Then I'm going to time warp. I'll take an extra turn after this one. I'm gonna pay three for a Phyrexian Altar. When you cast your second spell this turn, I create a treasure and lose a life. Go for it. Then I'll go to my next turn. Upkeep, draw. I'm not gonna pay. Play an island for turn. Six. And exile four cards from my graveyard to cast Elspeth again with escape. I'm gonna go ahead and minus two Elspeth to make two soldiers. I'll pass the turn. End of your turn, I will channel Besage you on Darksteel Mutation. You get to go get a land with a basic land type. <laughs> <laughs> I will draw for the turn. I will not pay the two. One green, I'll play Sensei's Divining Top. I will spin the top. I'll pay one life, and I will crack those wooded foothills. Haunted Mire. I will top again. Uh, I'll flop the top. I will play Staff of Domination. Mm. Mm. I will create five green mana, mm. and I will use three of it to tap staff to untap this. In Ooh. response to target, I'm gonna... Gilded Goose for a white. I'm gonna eat my Wing Splicer. All right, generous gift. Cool. Yeah, I'm gonna generous gift for I will make an elephant token. Neat. Two mana floating. Uh, I will make a food token. I'll pass. I will play the Shire. Go to combat. Corbin, I'm gonna do 10 in the air at you. Three in the air at Elspeth. Jason, I'm gonna do six in the air to face. I went to combat. I made a food token. Pass. Play my land for a turn. So we're gonna pay black and one for animate dead. I'm gonna animate dead Sam. I get to draw a card. Pay two. Planar disruption, the the only useful target. When I cast that, I get to draw a card off of uh, core spirit dancer again. Cast my second spell, lose life, get a second one of these. And then I'm gonna pay two. Arcane signet, pass my turn. At the end of my turn, you each lose two and I gain two. I'll untap this stuff and draw a card. Man, this was a really good start. That <laughs> just literally did not get Y'all anywhere. Y'all laughed at me. Wayne. Who's like the scariest attacker? I mean, put it on his commander. One less <laughs> blocker for me to clap his ass. Sure. Okay. All right. You convinced me. I'm done. Anyway, I'm gonna play this since he's dividing top again. I'm gonna eat this food and I'm gonna draw a card and lose a life. I'm gonna spin Sensei's Divining Top, but in response to it, I'm going to tap it to draw a card. I will play a Marsh Flats, and then Sylvan Library, and then I'll pass. Turn stuff. I'm gonna pay a green and one tap Sam Loyal Attendant with the Shire and make a food draw. Pay the two. Combat, make a food token. Brandon, I'm gonna swing 16 in the air at you. Hmm. That's all I got. Hors off signal. Well, that's all, folks. You each lose two, and I'm gonna gain um, one or two. Two. Upkeep, I'll gain a life from my enchantment over there. We'll try again. I'm gonna temporal manipulation to try to, to top deck something else. Five mana explore, let's get it. Go to my next turn, I'm gonna gain a life. I'll probably draw a land. Yeah, I'll play a land. <laughs> I'm gonna pass the turn. Sylvan Library. Eight. I'm not paying. I got mana. I'm gonna play a Savvy Hunter. When it attacks or blocks, I create a food token and I can sacrifice two foods to draw a card. I'm gonna play a Sensei's Divining Top. You played two spells. I'm gonna pass the turn. I turn so I'm gonna pay two, activate the Shire, tap my commander to make a food token, draw. I won't pay the two, go ahead and get another treasure. Play a hollowed fountain. Yeah, I'm scared of Corbin. I'm gonna swing the squad at you. Cool, how much is it? 22. Go into combat, make a food. <laughs> Nature's plan. Ooh, they don't fly anymore. You gain four life, you're welcome. I'm gonna spin top. So I'll block the noble hierarch with the delighted halfling. One of your five eyes can get eight up with my seven seven. I don't care about this elephant, so I guess you can get train wrecked, touch beaks with the goose, I will take three. Okay. That is all I got. Play my land for turn being a plains. 
for you, Corbin. We're gonna military discipline your commander. Sure. When I cast an aura, I get to draw a card. We're gonna play Archivist. Uh, I will respond. Uh, I will also respond. I'm gonna enlighten Tutor. Corbin's mm -hmm. fetching, by the way. I am fetching. Everybody saw me pick up my land and put it in the graveyard. Did they? they? Know what's up. Yeah. You don't know what's on screen. I also. It was just zoomed in on Brendan's face. <laughs> So, uh, lost the life and I like, cast my second spell. I'm getting a Cyber Drive Awakener that's up. Neat. I uh, am my turn. You each lose three, I gain three. I'm gonna untap. It's already untapped. <laughs> I'll draw Mangara, the Diplomat. Lifelink 2 4. When an opponent attacks with creatures, if two or more attack me, I draw a card. Whenever an opponent plays their second spell each turn, yeah. I draw a card. I'm gonna pass. I'm gonna pay one <laughs> and is. spin top. <laughs> oh, my bad. I was supposed to gain a life on my upkeep from my enchantment over there. Keeping you alive. All right, I'm gonna untap. I'm gonna draw. Do you pay here? Nah. One, two, three, four. Uh, cleave, dig up. Search your library for a card, put it in your hand, then shuffle. I'm going to uh, gain a life and draw a card. Yeah, you will. Go to combat. Savvy Hunter and my commander, you. I guess the goose can roll in there too. Goose is loose. I will throw Sam in front of your commander. Sure. It comes back as a gingerbread Sam. I take two, five. And then I make a food. X equals four. Mm, trigger Mangara. Yeah. So in response to cast, I'm going to eat my own birds of paradise for two mana. And then I'm gonna use that two mana to eat Sam and Gilded Goose for your six life. He has so many like this. So I will Eat him instead of the birds for two mana. Sack the birds and the gilded goose. Sure. I also, since you cast your second spell, lose a life. I'm gonna draw. Sack all four of my guys to Phyrexian Altar for four mana. Sure. Let's do um, white mana. I'm gonna use that four mana to cast Recruit the Worthy with buyback. I'll make a soldier. Untap, upkeep, draw, six. Yeah, I forgot about that. Cyber Drive Awakener. Other artifact creatures I control have flying, and when it enters the battlefield, until end of turn, each non-creature artifact I control becomes a creature with base power and toughness 4-4. Four, four. Should Jeez. he just have enough to kill us all? Jeez. Oh, no. There's nothing I could do about that. Yeah, so. yeah, I forgot about that secondary ability. I'll send the five of them at you, Brendan, the two of them at you, Corbin, and the rest of them four in total at you, Jason. In response, yeah. I'm gonna pay four, recruit the worthy with buyback. Okay. To make another soldier. They fly. <laughs> what? Artifact creatures you control are flying. All right, I'll take 16. I uh, will spin top. Yeah, none of that matters. <laughs> Pass the turn. I'm going to untap. I'm going to draw. Play a planes for turn. Will is back in play. I'll pass. I'm going to pay six. I'm going to cast Bernard, Ginger Sculptor. I'm going to yeah. sacrifice Cyber Drive Awakener to Ashnod's Altar. It dies, I'm going to exile it, and it is now a Gingerbread Cyber Drive Awakener. It's gonna turn all of my food into four four creatures again, and I'm going to swing 44 in the Sweet air. Sweet release. Jason. Yeah, that sounds good. Good job. Congrats Nate for slipping in a win with Cyber Drive Awakener, who everyone either forgot that he put on top of his deck or had no idea what it did. Pretty good with Bernard. Thanks for watching everyone, see you around.